Still looking for that save point, though. The map revealed sections work in this is a little bit weird just because of the scale. We're pretty much on a rail as far as our path forward, I think. Same point. Save point. That's right. Seems like the large enemies don't leave blood marks either. Which is not exactly helpful if I don't try and heal myself. That's a giant bookshelf. Two months have passed. The church vanquished the demons, but too much human life has been lost. Once it was found that we had a hand in the affair, my superiors were executed and the guild left crippled. Alchemy's principle held. We sacrificed everything and gained just as much misery. Only by some miracle was my life spared. Jebel did not die in the ritual. He is here, flanked by demons. He delivers judgment to the alchemists. My own punishment has come, and it will be far worse than the others. To the starred binders who died at my hands, forgive me. And to you, my dear friend Alfred, I should have listened. May God have mercy on me. Well, that answers that question. The moral lacking fellow leading all the experiments was not Alfred, but some other person. And the one trying to stop that person turns out was Alfred the whole time. What a twist. Oh. Save room? Oh, right. I'm guessing we're getting close to the end of the game now. Really enough, the save room scale was normal, even though everything else in this area has been giant. Looks like a boss. Let's put your luck to the test. Valfar. Kind of a inexplicable boss. Large gambling man. Wonder if my void ray works on this guy. Uh, 
poker chips. Well, it does pretty good continuous damage. Ooh. That was not a good thing to get hit by. Taking my money? You took all my money. Where am I? Ah. Oh. That is a very unusual boss to stick in an area like this at the end of the game. It seemed like the Void Ray did decent damage though. If I can just avoid getting hit by all of his attacks, then probably get through that boss fight relatively easily. There's just money under him the whole time. And what, a hidden chest in here? Okay. Valkyrie Tiara. Pretty big jump in. a well, one point jump in defense, big jump in luck. Lower attack, lower strength. Yeah, I think I'll keep that for now. You have to treat them like platforms, I guess. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Yep, that is taking all of my money. Is this all you have? Oh, I hit the ceiling. Trap armor might not be a bad idea for that fight. I guess I'm gonna try and get him into phase two, with just attacks, and then use the void ray to sort of close it out quickly. Let's try and put the Aegis plate on and the void ray on tap for once we get to that part of the fight. I think I just sit here and hit him in the face.
That kind of negates a lot of his attacks since they hit directly in front of him. In fact, that negates that entire sequence with the chips, too. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. That was a ridiculously easy way to deal with that particular enemy. Gold bullet. Weaponize 1% of your total gold and throw it in the designated direction. That's interesting. I gave my money back too. Interesting fight. I do you think it's funny that the entire gimmick of that boss fight was negated by just having the trap armor on? Which is amusing because you have to have the trap armor to get here. So it's Obviously, the player would know that they have that in their inventory. But I guess the game is, is banking on you not thinking to use it for that particular fight. Looks like we're in another large section of the castle. A little bit disorienting to be constantly flipping perspectives up and down. Where are we at? 92%? I didn't realize this area was so large. Claws. Attack with sharp lupine claws. Alright. I need to go out of here and loop around the top to where the dragon was? That yeah, looks like it. Oh boy, a lot of damage.
waste 